What's going on YouTube? Truck in life here. One more time, guys. Guys and girls and girls and girls. Yeah. Anyway, got off the expressway, guys. It's shut down. It's like on my way in to where I was going over here, like a driver ran over a swimming pool. I don't know, it's like a big yellow thing up on this truck. But the road wasn't shut down when I came in, but right now the road's shut down, so all of us gotta get off, come back the other way. When I left out the rear yard, I'm coming back the other way, and now it's shut down. So now I gotta try to figure out how to get back onto the expressway from here. And I'm using my map, but you know, you still gotta use the spidey sense at the same time, so that's why it's so much traffic right now. So of course, to the thing of Majiga, if I'm not mistaken, I believe where it says 83 up here, I believe the, the jam was right after 83, if I'm not mistaken. So if I get on 83 down here, if I make a right, go 83 down back to 290, y'all should be able to get on. But if I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be back in the jam again. If I, if I, if I misjudge this, so I'm gonna try it anyway. And see how it works. They got nothing to lose right now because they, they not moving on, on the express right now. They sitting still. So I was getting on that. It was, uh, it was an exit coming up, which is the exit I'm on right now, which actually lucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad it works out like that. I'll be going crazy sitting in traffic, guys. I don't like just sitting still on the road, man. I'd, I'd go crazy. So anyway, I'm trying to get this way. Hopefully this works out. We're about to find out, I'll tell you that. Now, of course, I get to the point in the video, but I thought I'd show this, guys, while I'm still doing this, you know? For those of you who want to kind of understand what this is about, and you know what this CFX dude in front of me, I don't think he knows what's going on either, guys. He's been swerving crazy. Curse is looping back there. All right, so let me see. Oh, that's north. Oh, that's why they going that way. Oh, I think I messed up. How's that north? I gotta go south. No, I gotta go north. I gotta go north. I went the wrong way. South? North. I gotta go north. Hold on, guys. Oh, man, I got to it. That's south or north? Is that north? It says north. Uh, oh man, I might be in a jam, guys. I don't even know. Oh, it, it loops around. Oh, it loops around, I think. Come on, Jules, what you doing, baby? I think it loops around. Oh, it's two turns. Okay, cool, it worked out. I don't know, Jules, you coming over here? Nope, Jules ain't coming over here. I gotta go back north, I think, from here. Please. It says that's north. I think it's it. Now I'm gonna find out. I don't know how to that CF CFX dude. I don't, I don't know if he made the turn or what. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe the accident is like just past just east of here. So I'm gonna find out. If not, I'm being a pickle. Let me see. All of us going the same way. Um yeah, I believe this is it, guys. I'm not sure. But yeah, so guys, anyway, I see them guys going the same way, so I'm guessing I'm going the right way. But also, too, I'm trying to... I'm, on a, I'm under a time restraint right now. If I don't make it to this cousin by a certain time, I ain't gonna get these loads in there, so I can't really sit in there. I really can't sit in that traffic. So I gotta I gotta, I gotta, get on a good foot, man. I gotta, get off this, I gotta get off this traffic right here. Hoping I don't mess up. Hoping I ain't going too short of the accident. But also don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get on the other side of the accident. Let's go, hurry, hurry, come on, come on. Remember the light change again, man, come on. Slowly the lightest, I got a load on my back. It ain't the lightest, it ain't the lightest, baby. It ain't the lightest, and this load is too short, baby. This light is too short. All right, let's see right here. Let's see what's going on. I think it's supposed to go this way. But that dude, I skipped that, I'm making it this way. I feel you, man. I ain't mad at you. Come on, driver. What you doing, baby? Come on. Hurry up. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on over there. Oh, yeah. It's the right way. What? What? I see traffic. No, 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 no. I see traffic. What's this? What is this? Please don't come from the expressway. Please don't come from the expressway. I don't think it's from the expressway. See that expressway up there, guy? No, they rolling. They rolling. I made a good call. Come on. Uh, hold on, driver. Not this bridge in front of me right now, but the bridge down there. That's the express I gotta get on, so hopefully this works. So I'm gonna get on here. Hopefully I can beat the other side of this accident. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. All right, guys, it worked out. I see
see that they let, they let it rolling over here. Yeah, that's the way I need to go right here. So, whew, okay, that was a good call. I sure didn't know what I was gonna do. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you look on the map and sometimes you go around and stuff, but sometimes you can't. Uh, thank God I'm gonna go around it, but I gotta make this time. I gotta, get, I gotta get this load delivered. I don't get paid by efforts, you know? Anyway, there we go. Guys, today video, get to the point of it, but I'm having a little aesthetics right now. I gotta make sure this stuff work. You know what I'm saying? As always. If anybody work in the rail yards, you guys see drivers coming through. Sometimes drivers genuinely don't know what's going on. This one spotter go look at me crazy, because I, apparently I didn't see the train. And he, instead of him like trying to stop and say something, he gonna hunt the horn crazy, throw his hands in the air. And I'm looking at him like, hey, I'm like, hey, man. First of all, I didn't see the train. Well, since I got you here, and that dude pulled off of me, right? So I followed him. Yeah, I did. And he had to stop because of the train right there. He couldn't go nowhere either. He just moved forward, moved forward a little bit. So I said, hey, man, could we go over? Could we go around it? He ain't sitting there first. I want to leave, and I was determined. Could we go around this thing before I move around, man? Because you know what's going on. I don't. And he was like, yeah. You know, man, sometimes basic things in life, guys, sometimes, man, like people make things a lot difficult, man. I understand you're having a bad day, man. Don't take it on everybody else. You don't know who else. You don't know who having a bad day. Two bad days meet equals problems in a, in, on a typical day. You know what I'm talking about? All right, somebody took my, somebody took my handle here. Man, these guys, boy, you know what, though? At least it ain't broke. At least it ain't broken now. I can fix this. I just got to get a handle. I got one. And I don't know where that's supposed to keep the hole covered. But anyway, guys, the purpose of this video is, as an owner operator, you come to the point where you have a moment of clarity. You gotta make it a moment of truth, a moment of where you gotta figure out what you're gonna do. Like, and some of the thoughts that come through your head as an owner operator, especially in this market, this market is kind of crazy. To the point where, should I quit this business or should I hold on? And like I said, I know he's the only one. I had these thoughts so many times. I actually got some thoughts recently about this. Like, should I hold on? Should I hold on? Hopefully these things turn around and get better. But there are a lot of people out here hurt, not everybody. Them guys that you see with them nice trucks and them nice, uh, they look like they comfortable out here. Them guys, a lot of them guys have been in the game for a while. Or a lot of times they have other avenues of revenue coming in. So they're not as stressed as the person who solely depend 100% on the next load. You know what I'm saying? So this could be deceiving out here. So he may say, well, I see that guy right here with all them chicken lights. He looking comfortable. You don't know what the setup is. He probably had direct customers. He probably had a, already locked into a contract for a couple years. You don't know what's going on. You're just trying to figure it out. So you can't look at nobody and tell how they doing by the way they truck look. Well, sometimes you could, but in most cases, you, some cases you can't. Man, this bug right here is following me, man. They wonder when that bug get murked, he's gonna be like, hey, why happened? I don't know. Why, why I get killed? Because you kept bothering me. So here's some thoughts as the owner operator. Sometimes you have these thoughts. Like, should I park my truck and hopefully the market turn around. And, but then you had the same, on the same token, you had a thought in your head like, what if it turn around sooner? What if it turn around soon as I park my truck? I'm about to hop back in, try to do whatever I gotta do, get the truck back up and running, and get back in the game. Or should I just stay in the game? Or should I sell my truck? But then what if I sell my truck and, I, and the market turn around, and I'm gonna try to hop back in the game, and I gotta find another truck? At least I know the truck I got right now. And I sell it, and I'm about to start over from scratch. Or what if I park it or sell my truck, then I go work for a company, 
And I, when I become a company driver again, I realize why I don't want to be a company driver no more because, or whatever reason, maybe the, maybe the pay suck, maybe the, the hours, the shift suck, maybe the management suck, maybe the dispatch shuffle thing take you over the, over the brink, who knows? So all these thoughts that run through your head, what should I do? Should I, should I hold out? Should I go down with the ship? Or should I go down fighting? Man, I'm looking at that right there. Thought I seen something over there. You're like, man, should I go down with the ship? Should I hold should I hold on? Should I go down fighting? What should I do? I mean, I don't know, guys. I mean, that's a good question. Every everybody's circumstance is different, but I know as an owner-operator, you gotta make these decisions. So you thinking like, okay, with my, my am I running through my savings? Am I burning through this? To try to survive, hopefully, to weather this storm? Or are you trying to figure out, man, what do, what do I really what am I really doing? I, what am I really doing this for? Is it really worth it at this point? Because the market been down for a while, guys. And all, like I said, all of us getting affected. Some getting affected more than others, but at the, at, it come a point where you make a decision. You gotta make a decision, whether it's to stay in and just hold on to your seatbelt and hope for the best, or I'm gonna bail out, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm sitting on a video talking about it right now. That don't mean it's gonna be like that. Like, it's gonna be that clear. It may be going on everyday life. You have things going on, a truck may to get fixed here. You know, you got a bill missing there. You know, you got stuff going on, so. It might not be as clear as this video right now, but sometimes you gotta really understand why you're doing what you're doing and how long could you hold out if the market never turn around. Or should I hop around to another company? Or should I got my own authority? If I got my own authority, should I, put, should I suspend it and go lease on to somebody? This is so many different ideas and thoughts you got you have in your mind when you're a business owner or owner operator, whatever the case may be, how do you wanna look at it? Be thinking to yourself, should I? What should I do at this point? And like I said, if anybody has thought this before, leave it in the comments below. I'm pretty sure I ain't the only one. A lot of the guys I talk to, they think about it too. Some people are like, that's all I got. This got to work, or this got to work. Which I get it. But you gotta look at your numbers. If your numbers start to look say something different, then you gotta really, really reconsider some things. Like I was uh, talking to this this one person who uh, they um, you know they they was doing okay with they with they had, uh, they got their own authority. They're doing okay. And technically speaking, they doing okay now, but he see the ups and the downs of, of the market he's in right now, and he like, I don't know how much longer I can hold on with this unpredict unpredictability. What's that? How you say that word? Unpredict unpredictability? <laughs> it's so un unpredictable. I say that. Don't judge me. Anyway, so he trying to figure out how you gonna hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like how you gonna hold on in this market? Now I told him, I said, hey man, it's kind of an individual thing. It depends on how you view your business and how you view things that you want to do. It's one of them things like, I really, there really no, no cut, no cookie cutter answer because everybody's situation is different. But yeah, guys, this video right here will be long and drawn out. This is just a, a thought that a lot of operators have. I know I've had it. And those who haven't had it, keep living. As my mom used to tell me. You'll have it, you'll think about should I even do something else? But then I don't know, you gotta think about all the other stuff you gotta deal with if you're a company driver. You know what I'm saying? You gotta worry about companies going out of business on you. You have to think about uh, they're gonna have no work to supply you. It's gonna be one of them companies where they, you kinda like, you kinda show up hoping they got work and if they don't have no work, you shout. You gotta, it's one of them things like you just gotta, it's just a, it's just a roll of the die out here, guys. I would say dice, but it ain't that, it's roll of one die, cause that's all you got. Anyway, I don't know what I was going with that. But, like I'm saying guys, at the end of the day, it's about making the best decision that works for you in trucking, guys. Like I said, I got other plans, so my situation is a little different. Like everybody's situation is different. You just gotta consider some things out here. So anybody out there, oh, I'm winning, I'm doing about $100,000 a week. I mean, good for you, man, you in a good situation. But honestly, the most guys out here, they ain't, doing no, they ain't not doing the greatest right now. Everybody trying to hold on by their belt buckle. Even a lot of these big companies, well, bigger than us, I would say, let me, let me rephrase that. Bigger than small companies, like 15 trucks, 20 trucks or less. I would say 50 trucks or less. Even them guys are having a nice heart. They're having a, a tough time right now. The bigger companies, the mega carriers, they having a hard time, but they have they have leverage. And I ain't finna go on that video what this is what leverage is about. But everybody hitting getting hit hard. It's just some get hit harder than others because of they the position they in. That's all I'm saying, guys. But anyway. This is all moment, uh, on operator's moment of clarity, a moment of something, a moment of reality, however you want to look at it, that you might have to face, guys, if you're on an operator. Hey, don't feel bad, it's just a decision. It's all it is. And I ain't saying that, I'm gonna make a decision to do that. I ain't saying you will. 
But I'm just saying, these are thoughts that you do have. You're like, man, should I call it one? Or should I try to hop around to another company? What if it's crazy over there? I mean, I'm gonna go down swinging. I might as well go down, go down swinging a while, right? <laughs> Start swinging like a wild man, and your, your, your boat's still singing. I prefer that route. I ain't gonna lie, I prefer going out wild, but everybody don't prefer that route. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go swinging, either way it go. But some people just, they just lay down and just let the ship go down like the people on the Titanic, like playing the violins and stuff. I don't know. Playing the orchestra, playing the band, they going into the water. I, I'm not, I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna swing until I can't swing no more. But this is a, these are thoughts you have, guys. And like I say, I don't know when is my going to turn around or what's going on with it. But everybody not hurting. Every, some people out here doing pretty good. But as a majority, don't let this YouTube streets fool you guys. But anyway, if you're stopping by for the first time, guys, hit that subscribe button while you're here. Why not? Your boy got some, dro got some dropping some knowledge over here. How at your boy. Also, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching in this business, whether you should make a decision to fold or hold them or fold them. Holler at your boy at info at for one on one um, coaching or consulting, however you want to call it. Anyway, I, YouTube, hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going around here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.